Where are we? Alpha Rem. Remetic system. Grid L42. Scramble fire crews. Get a distress call to the nearest Imperial station. Aha! It, uh, there's an old munitions depot in this system, Captain. Run by a Colonel Grom. Must be our lucky day. Make the call. This isn't over, thank God. So, you jump to my territory, uninvited, then demand my supplies? Colonel Graal, the Starhawk project is within our grasp. All I need is repairs and proper munitions. No. The Emperor assigned me to this depot. I decide how its resources are used. As of this moment, that includes your Star Destroyer. Consider yourself reassigned. The Overseer was sent on this mission by Admiral Sloan herself. Admiral Sloan isn't here, Captain. I have rebel guerrillas to deal with. And now, so do you. Grom out. <laughs> He wants us to fight rebels. All right. We'll protect his depot. And if his munitions get lost in the crossfire, well, lucky for us. Ma'am, regulations specifically forbid this. I will not be beaten by vanguard, grandstanding imbeciles, or anyone else. Please, not judgment. It's just fine. Call in Titan Squadron. Now. Could we talk? Well, that could have gone better. I never expected that cobbled together battleship to be more dangerous than the Xavian Abyss. Those dockyard coordinates almost cost us the Overseer. Look at this place. The deck below is even worse. And did you hear? We're not being given the munitions we need to strike back. No wonder Captain Carroll's furious. We'll get through this. Think of Battle Group Echelon after the skirmish at Marisi. Supply lines cut, their Admiral's flagship captured. But they rallied. They fended off the enemy, made repairs in hostile territory, and launched a daring rescue. And when they were ready, they returned to crush the rebels under heel. There's always a way to win. The captain summoned us. Let's not test her patience. Local rebel forces are preparing to attack Colonel Graum's munitions depot. You'll patrol the area in preparation for the attack, and keep the depot safe. Graum is a fool, but his assets belong to the Empire, therefore they belong to us. During your patrol, Titan III will secretly search the station, its freighters, and cargo shuttles for Baradium. This explosive material will be a valuable tool against the Starhawk. Tag the Baradium, and LT-514 will retrieve it remotely. While Graum is kept busy by the rebel attack, escort the Baradium to the Overseer for safekeeping. According to the Colonel, these three towers hold large munition stockpiles and will be the rebels' priority targets. It's a powder keg. If we lose the towers, we lose the depot, and the Overseer will be defenseless. Remember, as long as repairs are still underway, we can't afford to engage the Republic. Secure the Baradium, halt the rebel assault, and then we can leave the Remetic system. You're on your own, Titan Squadron. Let's do this right.
Why is it that small-minded officers are always the quickest to flaunt what little power they have? Grom can lord over this pathetic corner of the galaxy all he likes, but I will not allow him to jeopardize our mission. This depot has everything we need to annihilate the Starhawk. Grom may be an obstacle, but he's not our enemy. We will do our duty to protect Imperial assets. Go. Prepare your ship. I owe you and the rest of Titan Squadron an apology. When the Overseer was attacked, I realized that everything I know about war is what I've read. I'm beginning to understand how it must feel in that cockpit under fire. Terrifying. Yet you and the others risk it every day. I took this assignment to learn. Clearly, I still have a long way to go. I know Colonel Graum is in the wrong, and yet seizing his munitions feels drastic. But Captain Carroll is entirely correct that Admiral Sloan's orders supersede Grom's, and we are committed. To work. There's much to do. This routine is familiar. We've suffered. We're damaged. Broken, even. But it's not the end. Never is. Next steps are simple. We heal up, find Vanguard, then take revenge. The first crash was hardest. Had to relearn breathing, walking. Saw my cockpit in nightmares. Wasn't personal. The rebels shot me down. My wingmate returned fire. But pain is personal. My team deserved my best. The Empire demanded it. So step by step, I conquered pain. I rose. I flew. Nadiri's ahead. Until... And, and, <coughs> Until then, surviving is revenge. Let's fix this. It never fails. Bureaucratic bastards like Colonel Graham are always in the way. My brothers died on a rebel raid with 181st that never should have happened. I blame the Imperial Senator, who pushed for that doomed mission just as much as I blame the rebels who fired the torpedoes. Pick any military disaster, and you'll always find some bantha-brained bureaucrat was behind it. Captain Carroll is making the right call with this mission. Let's go. Captain Carroll has assigned you a TIE Interceptor. This machine is built to cut down enemy fighters. And that's what you do best. Operational. 
survives that chain reaction. Sounds like you speak from experience, Shen. Which I know you do. ships in the area, target and scan them to locate the Peridium. Titan 3, split up and find it. Scanning freighter. Titan 3, do the same. doesn't have paradium, but I'm detecting concussion missiles, heavy ion cannons and plasma bombs as well. Think of what we could have accomplished at Endor with these supplies. Come on, Titan 3. Got a plan. During the Jabez incursion, our forces used paradium, moved it with Zeta-class cargo shuttles. If Grom has paradium, he might be doing the same. Use Beridium strikes to drive the Rebels out of hiding at Jabez. But it didn't flush the Rebels out. It incinerated them. Secure the Beradium during the enemy raid. We're ready for them. Titan, we have rebel forces emerging from hyperspace. Right on time. Rebel bombers are targeting the control towers. Kill those bombers, Titan. If they destroy the towers, we lose the deep 
save. Then the Overseer will be overrun. Or worse. Tower 1 has been targeted.
how it's done. Amos, Grom. We keep running into fools who forget what side they're on. See, this is why we need a new Imperial Senate. Someone who can keep these idiots in check. We have a war to win. Officers like Grom need direction, not a leash. Looking to the horizon is all very well, Sol. But remember to look at what's going on around you. 
With that Beradium at our disposal, we'll be at the forefront of the attack on the Nadiri dockyards. We got caught off guard at the Xavian Abyss. That can't happen again. In one move, Captain Carroll took us from a near shipwreck to a key military asset. She'll have a plan. Let's see what's next. Our victory is nearly at hand. We have the location of the Nadiri dockyards, and the Overseer is almost back to full strength. Our only obstacle now is Vanguard Squadron. I won't let them catch us off guard. Not again. Admiral Sloan has a plan to draw Vanguard Squadron and other defenders away from the Nadiri dockyards. The Admiral has ordered Titan Squadron to play a part, and she wants you to take the lead. For this mission, at least. I trust Admiral Sloan's decision. You've proven yourself capable many times over. Just don't let it go to your head. It would be a pity if you turned out like Colonel Graham. Our Beradium munitions give us the firepower to take on the Starhawk, but the situation isn't that simple. The Nadiri dockyards are protected by a massive rebel fleet. We cannot engage the Starhawk until it is vulnerable. Admiral Sloan's strategy is simple. Lure the Republic fleet away from Nadiri with simultaneous attacks on enemy targets across the galaxy. We've been assigned to attack Moncala. We don't have the numbers for a pitched battle, so you will have to strike fast. Your mission is to sow chaos through multiple attacks, moving quickly. These refueling pods are your first target. Next, attack civilian transports and any medical frigates supporting them. This will certainly draw out Anvil Squadron who are defending Moncala. Stay ahead of them if you can. Titan Three, you're ready for more responsibility. You will lead the assault. Make this fast and brutal. They've earned it. And while Titan attacks Moncala, two battle groups will launch strikes at Onderon and Gorse, disrupting Republic supply lines. Ah, at ease, pilot. Reports of your achievements have crossed my desk with unusual frequency. Those accolades have been well earned, Admiral. If Titan Squadron's a weapon, our newest pilot is its cutting edge. Just as I'd hoped. Then consider Moncala a test, pilot. Great talent requires greater challenges. Agreed, Admiral Sloan. And I look forward to filing my next commendation report. I'm going to overlook your unapproved acquisition of Colonel Grom's beradium supply. Although I hope you both learn something from that encounter. Colonel Grom is efficient. After all, he did successfully defend his depot without using any of his own resources. But an Imperial officer must also show finesse if they are to command effectively. We understand, Admiral. Completely. That will be all. Seeing you rise to the occasion, taking lead on this mission, it reminds me why I keep fighting. Despite my age, despite the fatigue, we're one step closer to the Starhawk. Ride this confidence, but don't let arrogance get the best of you. We're all expendable, but not every pilot is replaceable. When we lose a good leader or loyalist, you can't fill the void with just anyone. Good pilots inspire those above and below them. When you're in charge of a squadron someday, remember that. For now, let's focus on the mission. Anvil Squadron. Been a while. They shot me down once. Lost two vertebrae that time. 
Sinyan will burn. Quite ease some pain. Overseer's fixed. Good. Superstructure was groaning. Kept me awake. Implants, your metal stresses. Handy in combat. Other times... It's annoying. Hmm. Been watching the mouse droids. They always seem scared. Wonder why. Time to go. For this mission, you're authorized to fly a TIE fighter, Reaper, or Interceptor. Your choice.
coordinates now. Follow me, Titan. It's Anvil Squadron. They're sensing a silver coordinate. The flagship. Anvil's getting overconfident. I'm right in their sights. Finish off that medical frigate, or head to the silver coronet. The overseer is en route to assist. I'll handle it. You're just making me angry. The frigate is destroyed. Superb work. The silver coronet is next. I'm here. Let's go. repairs. This is it, Titan. The Silver Coronet. The pride of Anvil Squadron. And a chance to strike an even greater blow. Titan 3, lead the assault. Demonstrate your capabilities. All right, Ray. Lead on. Shield generators, those gills on its hull. We're wasting time on the coronet shields. Fly underneath them, we can attack the hull directly. Let's talk. You'll be commended for this, you know. The hero who led the scouring of Moncala. That's a sort of accolade that gets people's attention. Makes them listen to what you have to say. If I were in your position, I'd be thinking about what that newfound prestige could be used for when the war's over. Just a suggestion. Let's find out what Captain Carroll needs next.
Our diversion was a success. Vanguard Squadron has left the Nadiri dockyards to aid Mon Cala, leaving the Starhawk completely exposed. We now have a clear shot to finish our mission. Admiral Sloan has sent reinforcements to help secure our victory. But you, Titan Squadron, will lead the strike against the Starhawk. If New Republic patrols and perimeter defenses intercept you on approach, show them no mercy. Before we begin our Beradium assault, you must bring down the dockyard's shields. We've discovered shield generators at these locations. Destroy them all, and the Overseer's bombardment will begin. After the shield generators are down, Titan III will return to the Overseer to acquire Beradium-enhanced munitions. This is where we show our true strength. Immobilize the Starhawk with Beradium. Do not stop until its hyperdrive is destroyed. I want that ship helpless when I deliver the killing blow. Let's make Admiral Sloan proud. So, on to Nadire. Captain Carroll's tenacity and your hard work have made this possible. Of course, mere numbers aren't enough to win a battle. But I'll give you the best moment-to-moment -moment analysis that I can. The Beradium will be at your disposal for the crucial moment I've seen to it. The rest is in your hands. Unfortunately, we cannot issue you Beradium munitions from the get-go. With the enemy shields up, there's a high probability that missiles will be lost in the crossfire. Or a pilot. Either would be quite devastating. Gray asked me about the Starhawk's tractor beam, but don't worry. That won't be a factor in this battle. With the Starhawk docked, its tractor beam would endanger the dockyards and everyone stationed there. The Rebel's squeamishness gives us the advantage. Good luck. Not a factor I can predict, sadly.
Before us is a historic victory. If we have the metal to seize it. The Baradium, the Overseer, even our TIE fighters are only tools. What decides a battle is our will to conquer. That's what the rebels have never understood. If we hold to that principle, we can crush the Starhawk and win the day. We've successfully drawn off the rebel forces protecting the Nadiri dockyards. Only a token defense remains. And the Starhawk. No doubt the rebels believe the Starhawk is all the protection they need. They have no idea what Alberadium is about to do to their defender. Get ready. It's time. <laughs>